Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing uh, tutorial. In the last video, we saw about JList and we created the JList using the uh, array. In the previous video, the JList is a single select uh, JList. That means user can select only one item from the list. Now we will uh, change the JList as a multi select list. So in the left hand side picture, if you see, we selected multiple items from the list. Only two food names, banana and lemon, um, that is not selected in this list. Except those two, all other list items are selected. So we will learn about list selection model. Then we will learn set selection mode. After that, we will learn get selected values list. The function get selected values list will return all the selected items. So here are the prerequisites. This video assumes that JFrame was already created. If you want to know how to create a JFrame, you can watch the very first video in this Swing tutorial. AWT playlist is optional. If you want, you can go through those AWT playlist, which will feed some useful information for these Java Swing tutorials. So this is the slide from our previous video. Now we will look into multi-select modes. So single selection mode. Using this mode, we can select only one item in the list. Single interval selection. Here we can select uh, multiple items but that should be in a single interval if you see here uh, here we selected banana through orange so that is a continuous uh, interval so we can select a range of items the next selection mode is multiple interval selection so if you see here, uh, uh, there are three intervals, apple to mango, grapes to cherry, orange to strawberry. So there are three intervals. So JList supports all these three modes. Single selection is the default one. So the function name is simple, set selection mode, then you will set the selection mode. So once you set the selection mode, the behavior of the JList will change. So this constant you can take from, so these are all the constant, you can take it from list selection model. So constant. So from this list selection model, you can select any of these uh, constant to change the behavior of the JList. So this get selected values list will return you the selected values and this one will return the selected indexes in this assignment so that's all now we will modify our previous example so that uh, we can learn the multi-selection mode now let's go to eclipse demo 
Okay, let me open the Java Oxygen. I mean the Eclipse Oxygen. That's the UI we are using. So you can refer the code snippet from Google Drive and the Google Drive link is given in the description of this video. First we will change the layout from flow layout to grid layout. So if you see here we are using grid layout of 2 comma 1 that means 2 row 1 column. So the grid layout was already discussed in the AWT uh, video series. So the grid layout is useful to arrange the controls in uh, equally spaced cells. Here we have two rows, one column. That means we have two cells. So we still use the same J label from our previous example. And our string array also same then we will change this from 4 to 8 that means we want to show all the fruits so without using scroll bar we can see all the eight fruit names later you can change it to 4 for this demo uh, for easy selection let us keep all eight item visible No change in section 5 we still use the same j scroll pan and we still add the uh, scroll pan as well as the label to the content pan so this event is not required okay anyhow we have to handle that we will see that later And if you see here J list, this is our J list, list fruit is the reference. We are making call to set selection mode. Let us import list selection model from javax.swing package. Here we are using the single selection mode. So now our example looks same like the previous video. Now our example looks like the same as previous one. So the single selection is the default model we can say. And if you see we can select only one item. Now we will change it to single selection interval. So you can still use it as a single selection mode and if you want to select multiple then click the item, hold down the shift key, then select one more item and you can see the range of item got selected. You can do this in a reverse order also. Let's say I clicked a strawberry, then I'm going up and clicking the grapes by holding the shift key. So You cannot select more than one range say for example this is my first range for the next range if I still hold down the shift key and click lemon from apple to lemon got selected so 
you can try to select multiple range that will not be possible and when you try now i am holding the control and the shift then i am clicking lemon and you can see that the range of values is selected now now let us change this to multiple interval selection so first time selecting apple holding the shift key pressing banana then i'm holding the control key selecting lemon after that holding the shift key then selecting strawberry and you can see now we have two range of values selected in this list apple to banana then lemon to strawberry so that's the use of multiple interval selection let me do that once again press the mango hold the shift press grapes so you can release the shift hold down the control key select whatever item you want i'm choosing orange lemon now then holding the shift key choosing strawberry so this is how you can select multiple range of values in the last video we saw how to implement the listener so the same way the listener is added using the anonymous inner class then in the value changed so this list you have to uh, import from util not from awt so this one is the component this one is the collection so import it from java util all right now let us look at the value changed so first we are using list of fruits get selected values list so this will return a list of a string we know that our list is holding the array of string so that's why we are using a list of string then we are forming a for loop so this is simply a collection so we are iterating over the string collection so string fruit selected fruit so this one is the selected fruit we are iterating through it in each iteration we will get a fruit name and we are forming a comma separated string after that we are removing the trialing comma using the substring method finally we are updating our label with the str fruits all right now we will run this demo first uh, let me select a range of values so in the list you can see that the selected values are displayed so let me remove orange and you can see the orange will get removed from the list and all other selected values are shown that's all here in this video thank you for watching Bye.